Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the Explosive One Jones, here to man on sticks. Uh, I won't say what I said last episode. I'm prepared to play. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you're prepared. We're playing uh, Madden 21. Yes. I'm exclaiming. <laughs> if you were a football player, what jersey number would you wear? Why do you why do you ask it like this is like a, like a saying an interview? <laughs> if you were a football player, Jeez, just, just, what number would you wear? Just the, 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 the absolute like Casey Kasem energy you're exuding. Like, <laughs> this isn't a game show. Can my number be hate? <laughs> That's what I feel right now. I just don't know why. I don't know. Can you, can you ask me that question like a human? <laughs> Let's, let me answer Earth, your question. Earthnoid, would you like to tell me the numeral unit you would put on your jersey of football americano? All right, see, so that was that was not like a human. Team Dynamite, what number would you wear in your jersey if you're a football player? See, you're doing it again. You couldn't even help yourself. You can't even help it. You weirdo. Dude, what number would you wear? <laughs> now you're trying too hard. Let like me I'm, show you how it's done. I feel like I'm talking to someone I'm dating. No, listen. Hope you will date, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> There's a common denominator here. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> bump, bump, bump. So let, let, let me let me show you how it's done. This is how I am. This, I is, this is how humans talk. Hey yo, if you were a football player, like what number would you rock? Sixty nine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, you know, honestly, that's I probably love, what you would say. Too. No, it was not what I would say because I'm a, I'm an adult and I'm not seven, but <laughs> but I am a, I, I do I do stream on Twitch. So sixty nine, nice. You know, honestly, I'm glad that you went there. I think I would wear number. I like I like I want some obscure number. What's the highest number you can go? Uh, up to? well, it's dependent upon position, but we'll take that out of the thing because it would take me way too long to describe the position. Number I right kind of want to know. Z it's, you want to know? Uh, yeah, dude. I mean, we're doing a video. I want to be can informative. Wear, uh, one to nineteen. Quarterbacks can wear one to nineteen. Why is that? I don't know. It's just the rules. Wide receivers can wear the eighties and the teens. The 80s and the teens? So they can wear like 80 to 89 and 11 to 19. Really? This is a thing? Yes. Okay. Tight ends can wear in the 80s. Linemen wait, can... Wait, wait, how are they... Wait, both of them are in the 80s? Yes, they can wear in the 80s. That, that's, that's not a lot of numbers. Well, there's not that many of the teams. Okay, fine. Um, Keep going. Linemen are in the 60s and 70s. Offensive. 60s Defensive and wears 70s. Defensive 90s. I believe really? 60s and 90s. Really? Okay. I think actually offense. I think offensive defense is lime can wear 60s, 70s, and 90s. Okay. Uh, defense. Uh, running backs can wear 20s, 30s, 40s. Safeties. Oh, can wear that way. Oh, wait. Let's hold. I'm sorry to, to interrupt, but let's hold up right there. I can't there. believe I know all of this. Why do, do I know Why this? do they get like three different genre of numbers to choose from? Because they're important. That's bull crap, uh, Jonas. I'm quarterbacks mad. and safeties can wear thir 20s, 30s, and 40s as well. I thought you said quarterbacks could only wear teams. Cornerbacks. Cornerbacks. Defense. Uh, linebackers can wear 50s. Okay. And I believe they're the only ones. They're, they're the only ones that can wear 50s. I believe so, yes. What? If, Who put these rules in place? The NFL. It, it, they like adhere to them? Yeah, because look. No, I'm not going to look at the screen. I want to know. <laughs> this, is, this is a video game. I want to know why this is a thing. I don't understand. Because like, you can tell by what number they're wearing, what position they play. I mean, I get that. But what if I was a quarterback and I was like, no, I want to be number 77. Has there, been, has there ever been an exception to the rule? I know there has been. There has not been. Get the hell out of Dodge. If it has, it was a long time ago. What before. about the like a zero? Nope. There's never been a quarterback with a zero. There has not. Or a double zero. No, for uh, up until um, probably the mid-90s, wide receivers couldn't wear in the teens either. They would only be in the 80s. And I think they just started being, they were running out of numbers because they were like retiring jersey numbers. Yeah, duh, dude. 
So that's why, like, retiring a jersey is such a big deal because, like, you literally make that, that number unaccessible for your team forever. Really? I think there's a similar thing with basketball as well, but I can't tell you necessarily what it is exactly. I don't but think there. I don't think there is, though, with basketball, because there's been zero. There's been 99. I mean, that's true. But I feel like there's some numbers that are just off limits. Like, you never see a 69 in either one of these sports. <clears throat> I think on linemen you see a 69. But, yeah, you don't see a 69 in basketball. No, you ain't going to see a they 69. Might, they might have banned it, dude. What about 420, dog? You never really see a lot of high numbers in basketball for what it's worth. Yeah, you don't. No. You not. don't see a lot of, like, 78. Yeah, or 99. You're not seeing that. You're not going to yeah, see that. Yeah, if I was well. a football player, I would do 55. Big, blocky, and powerful. I like 99. I also like double zero. I also <laughs> like one. I also like seven. Seven's like my favorite number. Do you have a favorite number? Oh, he dropped. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me let me ask it in your language. Jonas, do you have a favorite number? TNT, if you want to know my favorite number, guess what? Uh, I've never thought about it. Let me think. <laughs> Um, I don't know, dude. My like, favorite number has always been seven. Because it's closest to God? It, no, I mean, there's that, but <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is uh, the number of completion is what they say. If you if you look up like the, the <laughs> I wanted to say the lineage behind the number seven, but if you look up like the history of the number seven and like what it has meant through time, it is like the number of completion. I it's, it's some real deep like I God I know stuff? Joe it ain't even God stuff though it's not even God stuff because six is not adherently bad or evil yeah I mean three of them kind of you know gives you a little tingle in your your evil zone yeah dude my evil zone dude sometimes I'm like dude why is my evil zone tingling and I'm like oh I just I just bought something that was six dollars. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it all the time. So you don't you don't have a favorite number? Uh, no. Off the top of my head, I don't think so. Or like a favorite number, like one to ten, or like a favorite any number. A boom, any number, Jonas. I really like seventeen hundred and forty-eight, dude. Well, I don't know. I'm being an a hole. Seventeen forty-eight's a good number, though. Yeah, dude. Because that is, uh, come on, what's his name, Jonas? Seventeen forty-eight. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say hello. I have no idea who you're talking about. I am. Yeah, baby. <laughs> no. I have no idea what that Fetty is. Fetty Wap, Jonas. Oh, dude. Fetty Wap. Oh, dude. You should have said. Uh... <laughs> I should have said I, what? I don't know. <laughs> say that money. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'm sure he said that once or twice. He did in uh, that little Dicky song. He was in the song with him. Uh, hey, about it, about it. Ooh, but, uh, see him? What about a uh, favorite color? You know, it's black. Yep. Black is not a color. Red bro. was always my favorite color as a child. Oh. Until I got old and lost my soul and then became black. <laughs> 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 the color of your heart has changed. Yeah, dude. I used to be all nice and red and pink inside. Now I'm just solid black. Would you wear pink? Would I wear pink? Absolutely. Do you own anything pink now? I have a pink Golden Girl shirt. That, I mean, come on. I mean, I guess that does count. I was going to say that didn't count, I mean, but it obviously hot, and that's counts. that's also hot pink. It's not just like, it's not salmon. Salmon ain't pink, it's salmon. Yeah, dude. It's no, I'll give you that. Do you remember when I, when that pink outfit I had? Yeah, I that a, basketball jersey, with like you had the pink do rag and like the pink Iverson jersey. Or it something. was a, it was a Philadelphia Phillies, which is a baseball team. Was yeah. it the Phillies? It I, was a I remember. Well, I always had the, the city right. Yeah, it was a Philadelphia Phillies because I remember I found the shirt and it was pink and gray. Pink, gray, and white, and then I found a hat just like by happenstance that matched it like to a T. And I was like, "Oh well, I gotta turn that into an outfit." Yeah, and you had the pink do rag with it. I did have a pink. Yeah, dude. I, well, you walked in. I remember I was over at Todd's, and you walked in. I was like, <laughs> "Look at this guy." <laughs> Can you believe that motherfuckers actually had the audacity to make fun of me for wearing pink? Oh, 
Oh, I love the interceptions. Uh, I just, I, you know, it well, was because different. they're scared of their masculinity. I, I mean, I guess so. I threaten their masculinity. You're like, what is this guy going to try to suck my fingers? The barbecue is this guy sauce? Steal my girl? That's probably what they really thought. <laughs> yeah, I very well could have. I know, dude. Mister Steal Your Girl. Um, I, uh, yeah, I definitely liked red. I like black. Now, come on, dude. Why am I just throwing interceptions like a cowboy, dude? Whoa, Dallas. You talking about, talking about Dallas? Yeah, dude. They lost to the Browns. <laughs> they did. <laughs> is, is it, does it hit harder if I say the Browns beat the Dallas Cowboys or if I say the Dallas Cowboys lost to the Browns? I think it hits harder if you say the Dallas Cowboys lost to the Browns. I kind of feel like it hits harder, too. <laughs> it does, dude. If you were like, the Kansas City Chiefs lost to the Browns. Like, the Browns damn. beat Kansas City. Yeah, like, that doesn't dog really shines on sun, <laughs> Sunshine's on dogs ass some days. Yeah, yeah, but to say they lost to the Browns is kind of it's kind of wild. Yeah, dude. What? Who was I just? I just heard. I just heard an interview with a basket or no, with a football player, and he said that the Browns actually have a squad. He was like, they have a squad. They just need to learn how to play together. They definitely went out before last season and spent some money. <coughs> oh, at least that was a good throw, you jerk. Um, and they had a bad coach, and they had a bunch of uh, egos. And then what they've done is they've built on some of that, got a different coach, and still have the egos, but so far they seem to be playing okay together. I don't really understand. Like, I mean, okay, look, I get it. I get it. You're a million-dollar football player. But I don't understand, like, the ego thing. Is it like... I think it's, like, is the ego too big because you feel like you're doing Cleveland a favor by playing there? No, I think what happens with the egos is... I think it's. I think it's. I th there's a couple different things in play. I think that some of these players in the skill positions, like running backs, quarterbacks, wide receivers, yeah. feel like they need the ball as much as possible because they're the best player on the team and they will make the biggest impact. I mean, whether that's, that's true or not, I feel like that's a good thing, though. Right, but they also want the ball sometimes so much that. Uh, you know, they're just, it's like, if they, if they don't get the ball, they get mad. And it may not be, that it's not like they, like, made a decision to not give you the ball. It's like, you recovered, or the ball, somebody else was open, or yeah. whatever. But then I think there's also the element of the people, that people in this sort of thing, this happens with every sport, basketball, baseball, football, the people around you, like, you become, you become a servant to your yes-men. And, like, so then if anyone gives you any sort of flack or reason why you're not getting what you want, you become a baby because you're so used to everyone just being like, yes, sir, to you all the time. Yeah. So it's like, I think, like, that is the bigger problem because they'll be like, well, I just want to, and the, and the coach or whoever's like, no, and then they're, like, mad because somebody told them no. You know, it's like they get these egos. It's like it's it's hard to say you wouldn't get an ego when you when you're broke and nobody cares about you. And I don't mean that as nobody cares about you, but like in the big picture, if somebody was like, "Oh, hey, Jonas passed away today," like people who don't know what's in real life are gonna be like, "Who?" <laughs> but if like LeBron James passed away today, or when Kobe died, everyone had a goddamn national mourning for that. And nobody, and how many people actually know the man in person? You know, it's like. Do you think he would have got the same attention if he didn't, if he had only gotten uh, half the touches that he got? If Xavier McDaniel died in a helicopter crash, how mad do you think the world would be? So. Is the problem that they feel like they want the touches? Is the problem that they f fall a victim to the yes man? Or is the problem that they want to be the next Kobe? Is exactly. the problem that, that if they don't get the touches that they do, that they or feel they deserve, their football card is going to be like, hey, this guy scored this many points average in this season, and then he signed with the Browns, and he only scored this many points. I'm not going to make him – I'm not going to put him in my commercial. Plot twist. What's that? Or is it the general public turning them into a deity by worshiping <laughs> them? And when they're, is it the public? I mean, they, they have – Because, like, if nobody gives enough about you, you can't, it's hard for you to have a big-ass head, ain't it? 
Yeah, but if you're scoring, uh, who just lost the game for us. But somebody's got to score a bunch of points. Who's going to score a bunch of points? If Tom Brady made half of the receptions that, or even a, or even like two thirds of the receptions, if he, if two thirds of those were catches and then the other two thirds were incomplete, he's not going to be the same guy. He's no, not going to make oh as much. Oh my god, that dude is intercepted. Fuck. Jing four <laughs> passes. Who is fuck Jing? <laughs> I, I don't know her. Say one thing. It keeps started coming out a different way. Hey, but you already you said all right. Mother fudger, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying it's like I get it. Everybody Tom Brady messed want, up last night. By the way, he got what? Messed up. What do you mean messed up? It was they were down by one point and he was like and he was trying to like have a game winning a uh, huge intercepted another pass. You effing kidding me? Uh, that dude's intercepted four passes. That's amazing. Um, it's oh, he's an X Factor boy. Juking he, on you too. And it was third down. It was fourth down, and Tom Brady just threw a he thought he thought it was third down. Threw the ball, whatever, and the game it ended the game because it was really fourth down. And he's like up to the going up to the referee like it's fourth. Fourth down. Where's fourth down? They're like, you just had fourth down. He was just like, no, and like put his head down and like. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, dude. Touchdown, Tom. You don't make mistakes very often. <laughs> I don't we know. Lost. I get it. Shoot for the stars. I threw five interceptions because I'm trash. Yep. You, your, your football card, Jonas. Oh, dude. It'd be like the one that you like chew your bubble gum up and fold it in the card. And right. Throw that card away. Hey, dude. <laughs> Burn that beef for kindling. Yeah, dude. So, but anyways, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've done that. He does Twitch stuff. TNT Dynamite on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT DIN on my GHD underscore Crazy Sound Twitch.tv. Yeah, for Jonas. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, we are uh, out. Uh,